Hello folks, this is Tony Trishka, and a lot of people, when they start to play bluegrass banjo, they learn Scrug style. They might learn Boil em Cabbage Down, and so on and so forth, or Cripple Creek. Both great tunes. And there's another thing you could think about, not necessarily starting with, but early on, is the melodic style. Now the difference between the melodic style is Scrug style is based mostly on chords. You have the slide, this two to three slide, let's say you're doing thumb, index, thumb, middle, and maybe the melody, boil them, cabbage down, boil them. But these other notes that aren't in the melody are notes of the G chord, in this case. Or here on the down, boys. You're basically arpeggiating a C chord in this case, uh, which arpeggiating means breaking the chord down into the individual notes. So. Scrug style is a chord-based style with these rolls that keep repeating. Um, melodic style is based on scales. So if you do a tune like Double's Dream, this last like da 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 do re mi fa so la ti do, it's just a whole scale. Starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the eight notes of the G scale. But rather than going um, up on a higher note on a higher string or going to the next higher string, you go, to, at least in G and many other cases too, going to a lower string to get a higher note. So it's counterintuitive. So to get those same notes and not be hitting the same, the same string two or three or four or five times in a row, you get a slightly smoother, more rounded sound by using the melodic style. So you start on the open third string, which is G, and then put your pinky down on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So immediately you're going to a lower string to get a higher note, and you're, instead of going zero to two on the third string, you have the open third, pinky on the seventh fret of the fourth, then you play the open second string, and then rather than going to the first fret of the second string, put the middle on the fifth fret of the third string. So again, you're going to a lower string to get a higher note. Go to the open first string, then put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the second string, which again, you're going to a lower note, lower string to get a higher note. And then add the index on the fourth fret of the first string, and then the open fifth string. So all put together, it's. And then you can just go down, play it backwards. Da, 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 da. So you have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. There's a whole G scale right there and then back down. And there are a million tunes that use this kind of a scale or part of it or a scale pattern like. And that sort of thing can give you all sorts of possibilities. So the melodic style is a huge playground to fool around in and I highly recommend you start getting into that even if you're just beginning. Uh, it's a thing that can go hand in hand and parallel to Scrug style. So I hope you enjoy that melodic style and we'll see you the next time around.